Uh, everything comes from combustion. Combustion requires three ingredients. And fireworks fulfill all of those three requirements. So it requires fuel, it requires oxygen, and it requires heat. So you have the oxidizers inside, the salt heater, uh, the potassium nitrates. You have the fuels, whether it's carbon or whether it's magnesium or aluminum. Uh, and then, of course, you have the heat with the fuses. So all together, we get this really nice, wonderful display thanks to a really fun chemical process that is combustion. The colors come from different chemicals, different elements, uh, mainly metals. So for instance, if you want a red color, you might use strontium. And everybody's seen that before in a road flare. So those nice, vibrant reds that comes from strontium. If you want a green color or a blue color, you might use copper. Um, and if you want a nice stark white, you'd use aluminum or magnesium. They burn really, really hot and they give you those nice bright flashes and those nice stars that kind of trickle down. And the reason why I love them, the reason why I know why a lot of other people love them too, is that they are chemistry in action. That is uh, physics and chemistry happening right there before your eyes a couple thousand feet in the air, whether it's after a ball game or on the 4th of July or over the art museum. Um, that is just a beautiful mix of uh, aesthetics and science all together.